Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Oracle Linux 5 through VirtualBox. For all such videos, you can still log into kiranvideo.blogspot.in. Click New. You'll be seeing a wizard. In the name section, you can give RHEL or any other name which is relevant. Select Linux as an operating system and for the version you can come down and select Oracle 64 bit because this is the ISO image that we are using. For memory settings based on your host you can go half of it. In my case I have 4 GB I'm using 1700 MB close to 2 GB. Once you are satisfied click next. For the hard disk you can go for the create a new hard disk go for the default disk image virtual box disk image vdi here you can select dynamically allocated or fixed since i want to create a bigger image i'll go with default dynamic allocated compromising on performance here you can choose the location where you want to have that vdi image make sure it has enough space So I have chosen some virtual box images in your hard disk and with a name extension. Here you can choose the space. Since I want to have Oracle applications installing in this, I just wanted to have 500 GB. So initially 500 GB won't be taken because it's a dynamically allocated. Check out the summary. Once you are satisfied, you can click create. Now all the settings have been populated. So click on storage so that we are going to link up the ISO image for the disk drive. This is the procedure. You need to have the ISO image downloaded already as you need to download from edelivery.com. Click OK and click Start. You can either start like this, right click or directly clicking start button. You can see the image will be started and this information is shown. You can skip, there will be slight verification and you will be getting this form. Click next here, select language and click next, US next. For such pop-up, you can click yes. It will search for already existing one and also give an option for advanced. Go with the default one, click yes. Here you can leave it for DHCP for host name or you can manually configure if you don't have the DHCP server. In this case, I'm going with Kiran Guinea dot local domain. I'm going to show you this information at the end of this video. Now I can click next and select your location for time zone India and Calcutta. This is my present location. Confirm and click next. Need to give root password, it should be strong enough because he is the administrator. Here you can select all the components for your installation but that takes more space or you can customize your settings if you know well with packages click next it will check all the dependencies and then start formatting then installing the components this takes time just for video I just skipped most of it and click reboot so after reboot you can see you need to even click some of the wizard like accepting the license firewall settings you can just disable it but since we are using a home based simple server there will be warnings you just say yes that you know what's the impact of it here for SE Linux you still disable this and go for forward 
accept the warning. You can read the settings too. The Kden, you can just go with the default, don't check anything. And set your date and time information. Here, he's asking to go for any default user. That can be created later, so click continue. Check out your sound card settings. Click forward. And for additional information, you can just click finish. You don't want to do anything except reboot. So during reboot, it takes around some time and once you see the login screen, you can log in with root and password, the password that you have given during installation. Open the terminal and check out your mount point settings. And this is the place where I want to tell you that host name will be appearing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope this will be useful for you whenever you are installing Oracle Linux 5. So you can pass down wherever you want.